I'm back in Tenjin and I'm going for another wander. Some people said they wanted to see more of me wandering around town kind of videos, so today I'm back in Tenjin, I have a chance, I'm gonna wander around and see what I can see. The very first thing I wanted to do was go to Big Camera to check for a microphone for this thing because at some point I want a shotgun microphone. Unfortunately, the one I wanna buy they didn't have in stock and I don't wanna buy before I try kind of thing. You know, for the longest time I thought it was called Big Camera. <laughs> Many years I thought that. Before I got to Big Camera, I had the displeasure of having my eardrums blasted by these buses all in a line. I've been told that people who have these buses are ultra right-wing nationalistic people who think that Japan is for Japanese only and everyone else should leave. I don't know if this is true. I saw a few signs. I think it was a protest about the, the fight between Japan and, and China over this island. I live in Japan, so I'm probably more pro-Japanese than I would be pro-Chinese, but sitting there and blasting my eardrums at a huge decibel level is not a way to get me on your side. All it did was piss me off. Of course, they don't care about me being on their side anyway. That's over and done with, hopefully. I don't want to run into them again today. It's time to wander around and see what we see. I am betting we'll find at least one big shrine. No fish, no life. I love that. The restaurant's called Fishman. I normally don't care for fish, but the smells coming out of that restaurant are fantastic. I already ate at McDonald's. Blech. Well, Lilia wanted McDonald's, so we went there. But the thing that was funny, we went in, we got our food, we sat down at McDonald's. The music playing at McDonald's was Opa Gundam style. I loved it. It was great. What did I tell you? Something looks like a big shrine. Although it's closed up tight. And there's barbed wire to keep you from getting in. I don't think it's actually a shrine, and it looks in terrible repair. The roof is, well, rotting through completely. All the decorative woodwork looks pretty crappy and looks like it's been burned even. Or maybe it's just rot. Somebody has left fresh flowers, but inside looks just absolutely decaying and crappy and someone's maybe sweeping up a little bit, but it looks terrible. There are some graves inside though, so this wouldn't be a shrine, maybe a temple, but if it is, it's a temple in the worst state of repair I've ever seen. Almost looks like it's more of just a graveyard. And there are places I could sneak through in the side because there's big gaping holes between trees, so it's not really a fence, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> and right beside there's a house that looks totally abandoned, looks totally grown over, and around that are all these big, tall, clean, new looking apartment buildings. I really did not expect to see a place looking like this, abandoned and overgrown, very close to the core of Tenjin. This is a surprise to me. I wouldn't think any property would be allowed to sit so long, actually. I guess whoever lived there has moved away or passed on. I don't know, but somebody still owns it. You'd think it'd be worth so much money that someone would be pretty eager to sell if they weren't going to use it. So yeah, I found a shrine. It's not huge big, but it's big enough. Medium sized big. The shrine building itself is kind of plain, but it's got a really nice big tree. And pretty much big trees like that are only to be found in shrines and temples now. Nice decoration on the doors. Japan is the land of convenience stores and vending machines. Right from where I'm standing, there's a 7-Eleven just across the road. There's a filing mark down the end of the street. And right beside me, there are a whole bank of vending machines. I could probably actually do a whole video on vending machines. And I think I will someday. Don't do this too often. Outside a store, they got some blankets set up and they got a little kind of a market going. And a lady playing a traditional Japanese instrument. I think it's a shamisen. I can never get that right. Filmed it backwards over my shoulder because I don't want to just stand there and point a camera at everybody without asking anyone. So kind of sneaky this way, I guess. I guess this market thing is happening in this area right now. There's tables out on both sides of the street and people selling stuff, food and handmade goods, and I don't know what else. Nothing I want to buy, but it's interesting to see. A whole shop of pottery, I must check it out. Okay, my mistake, I was taken in by the name. It wasn't really a pottery shop, it was more of a kitchen goods shop and a cafe on the second floor. Oh well. One thing I have noticed is I'm just about the only person walking around in a t-shirt. Everyone else has long sleeve shirts or even sweaters on. I don't find it cold, I'm finding it quite a nice crisp day. It's just perfect. I do have long pants on, but I'm actually sweating because of that. <laughs> it's the end of October and I can still wear t-shirts. This is fantastic for a Canadian. Actually, until recently, I was still wearing shorts every day too. I can only start wearing long pants last week. And not too far down the road, another 7-Eleven. Big surprise. Apparently it's 23 degrees out. That is not sweater weather to me anyway. And another family. You know, just forget it. I'm not even gonna bother showing you all the bloody convenience stores I'm gonna see. Just take my word for it. I will see a lot of them. They're all over the place, like mushrooms. You know, you just need a dark space, some moisture, and a little bit of uh, decaying vegetable matter, and a convenience store grows. No, that doesn't work. Don't see too many buildings like this around Fukuoka. Actually, taking a look in the door, it looks like it uh, could be something kind of religious. Still a beautiful building. I thought there was a hill and I wanted to go up it, because I haven't really seen any hills in Fukuoka too much, and then it looks like it's some kind of girls' school.
plane happened to be going over, so I include that for a couple of my viewers who are just crazy about planes. I've definitely moved away from the center of town, from the, you know, the business area, and into a residential area, and I have no idea where I'm going. I hope I can find my way back. Peas and bamboo. I hadn't thought I'd see too much of that inside of Fukuoka City. You know, when, when you think about Japan, you think about big urban centers, and it's true, you know, there are huge urban centers in Japan, but Japan is actually a way greener country than you think, and I don't mean green ecological, I mean green the color. Take a look at Google Earth, take a look at Japan, and Japan is hugely forested. Just most of those forests are up on top of mountains. Oh, cool. That hill, it's a shrine, so let's go up. I don't know, I was hoping the stairs would get me to the top. A little more. This way. Limbo bar for very tall people? No, somehow I don't think that's right. <laughs> Hand washing location. And the shrine. And another airplane flying overhead. This is nice. Where I showed you below, the bamboo, that's all right here, up on this hill. That's a good place for a shrine, catch the breeze maybe. It gives you a nice, peaceful, relaxing area. In which you can still hear cars and planes and stuff, but still, you know. And there's a little side path leading off to a couple places. Let's go check them out. Not that way. A little orange, very, very orange shrine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, can't read that either. Duck to go under this one. And come to a little shrinelet for I have no idea what. Although the statues here and here look like foxes. Maybe it's some kind of fox deity shrine. Duck. And another little shrinelet. So I have zero idea what this is a shrine for. No matter where you go, in any big city or small city, you're gonna find a shrine or two, or three, or seven, or twelve, or a whole crap load. I love the construction though and the roof ornamentation. That is cool. What do you think, should I put one in my house? No, I don't think so either. Let's continue up the hill. But I'm saying let's, it's just me and the camera. Well, you're along vicariously, I guess. I think if I was gonna live inside of Fukuoka, this is the kind of place I wanna live, up on the hill here. Well, I'm sure it's probably very expensive up here. Islands of green, even in the middle of Kyushu's biggest city. I think this might be another little shrine, tucked back away with a little itty bitty staircase to go up. So of course we must go up. I hear some kind of sports event in the background. I can hear drumming and cheering. Wow, this really is narrow. I thought this might be a hilltop shrine, but it is really just like a back alley shrine. Even the toady is just, you know, metal, painted metal, and it's really not all that nice and starting to rust. Even though it's just a little back alley cubby hole shrine, I'm, I'm glad I found this. This is almost more interesting than the big shrine, because it's something that's just, you know, tucked out of the way, unless you live here or happen to wander by, something you'll never ever see. But it's obviously well cared for. It's clean back here. There's fresh flowers and decoration and, and candles and incense, so, and a whole bunch of folded paper cranes. Local people care for the shrine. This is cool. A little noisy though when the planes fly over. And the toady could use some work. Although with their space constraints, I kind of understand it. Although, I, uh, here too, I got a duck. Onward! I got a little bit more time to go onward, then I gotta start heading back. Hope I can find my way back. I have no idea where I am. I have had lots of people comment on my videos that they want to move to Japan. Well, if you do, here's a nice empty lot for you to buy in the middle of Fukuoka. So, you know, if you're already rich, you can come buy this land, because otherwise, that's gotta be expensive. It's a pretty nice sized lot, actually. Again, I'm surprised it's empty. This property has a great view of, well, other buildings including one giving financial advice. Okay, I will invest, just because the building told me to. Yeah, maybe concrete and steel as financial advisor is not the best idea. Yeah. <laughs> it was a beautiful staircase back there. I almost thought it was a shrine I was about to go up and I realized it was someone's home. How would that turn out? You know, what are you doing in my house? Sorry, I love your stairs. <laughs> one, two, more lots available right down the road from another one. Come, move to Fukuoka. There's just plots waiting for you. And I've seen lots of apartment buildings being built, so you know, there's lots of space for you to move into. Come on down. Or up, or over, or whatever direction you happen to be coming from. Oh, it was nice. I just spent about five minutes talking to a lady who was doing some gardening in her yard there. Apparently she's got to transplant all her trees into the backyard because her son is moving back and they got to fit two cars into a space that just doesn't look like it will fit two cars, especially since one is a camper. Wow. <laughs> anyway, she told me that if I continue along this way, I'll actually come to a lot of green space and the Fukuoka Zoo, which I've never been to. And I don't really have time to go to today and I'd rather go with my children if I was going to go. I'm going to keep going this way for a while. Anyway. Hey, I found me a subway station and another 7-Eleven. This must be on the new line. This is a good thing. It means I can just keep wandering farther and farther and farther and just take the subway back to Tengen later. Cool. I don't have to walk back. That's nice. I could take a taxi like that guy, but they're bloody expensive in this country. A church. I was not expecting to find that. Nice architecture. I've already turned away from the subway line. I wasn't planning to come up this way, but I saw a great big green hill and the green is just calling to me. Come see me. Come see me. 
Who am I to argue? I like this. It's the Church of Church of. Okay, I'm sure the rest of the name is printed on the other side of the gate in the other way, but yeah, whatever. Right beside the church looks like there's a restaurant with a beautiful little garden in there. And I bet it's really expensive. It looks expensive. Okay, it definitely feels like we've left the city. And a little thing to block cars. But it doesn't say anything about no people, so I'm going on. It is nice up here. Although, I can still hear cars. I think these are banana trees. Big banana trees. And a big tree tree. But I don't think you'll get any bananas from it. Oh, I like this up here. And stairs. Well, you know what that means. Gotta climb it. This is great. It really just feels like a place that nobody goes. It feels like that for two reasons. There's lots of leaves all over the place, and there's no garbage. But someone must go here fairly regularly because it, it would be completely overgrown otherwise. Someone's gotta be cleaning this place up. But obviously this is not a popular destination. All the better. <sighs> I love these uneven stone stairs, but they're a bugger to climb. When you're as out of shape as I am. <laughs> This is good for me. I just gotta keep telling myself that. This is good for you, Mark. Walk up the stairs, you lazy bastard. <sighs> this place appears to be some kind of park, actually. If you go up that way, apparently there's some kind of historical statue. I'm gonna take a look at it in a minute. If you go down that way, you go to Fukuoka Zoo. If you go over that way, you can also go to Fukuoka Zoo, although it looks like it splits into two paths over there, so one goes to the zoo and one goes somewhere else. I don't know. And then there's, of course, the way we just came and that building you saw is a toilet. And I just uh, met, met uh, a nice old man walking up here and he said that, yeah, not many people come up here. This is a beautiful place. If you live in Fukuoka, gotta come up here. Unfortunately, I just don't know where the heck this is. This is Minami Koen. Minami Koen, so South Park. South Park, oh. South Park. <laughs> South Park. Oh my God, they killed Kenny. This very nice man is taking me up to see the statue. So this is a monument to Sonbun? I can't really understand. Somebody who came from China to do something in Fukuoka, I will ask Kumiko to translate. Another little raised up area which I guess is surrounded by sakura, so beautiful in the spring and now it's just very leafy. But we're gonna go take a look anyway. So up here we have the highest point of South Park, Minami Koen, which I guess looks beautiful in the spring when the sakura are blooming. It doesn't look bad now, just very green. Very nice old man, he's continuing on his way. Arigato! And we'll go this way. Apparently if you go this way, you go to the zoo, and that way, I have no idea. He said this way there's a Fukuoka Dobutsuen, which is Fukuoka Zoo, and Fukuoka Shokubutsuen, which Shokubutsu is plant, so some kind of gardens. I don't know, but uh, that'll be something to check out. Just not today, I don't think I have the time. Ah, oh, seriously, if you live in Fukuoka, and you know, you just want a place to rewind and unla- unlax? Rewind and unlax? <laughs> unwind and relax and just let the stress flow away definitely come out to Minami Koen. I guess there used to be something here there's stairs that go up to there I wonder what that was man yeah, whatever you don't need stairs if you really want to go up the hill you can go up the hill I can hear some old rock going on hey, baby. I don't know what the song is but it sounds cool and now I hear children's voices so I must be getting near the zoo uh, it'd be cool if I could see into the zoo from here actually I think I can see bits of zoo environment through the trees but uh, no animals I'm sure they're there I just can't see them isn't this the kind of place you want to come out and take a walk? I think it is. I think you do. Another staircase. Those staircases must be left over from before there was a road, I'll bet you. And now there's a road, you don't need the staircases, but they've just left them instead of taking them out and building over them, which, yeah, you know, kind of works. Although there is kind of a little platformy area there, not a, anything built platform, just a flat area that I guess that staircase gives access to, so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Yep, I've definitely come up behind the zoo because I can see a giraffe. Or at least his butt. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. Hey, any day you see a giraffe is a good day. Does that really work? I don't know. Actually, I can see several enclosures from back here. I'm, I'm outside the park, but I can see in a few things. It's just the giraffe is the only animal I can see, other than, you know, homo sapiens. And monkeys. I think they're Japanese macaques. And some kind of goat, kind of looks like a mountain goat kind of thing, maybe, possibly. I'm seeing all these animals for free! Well, I'm not getting that good a look. The giraffe wasn't bad. The giraffe was a pretty good look. Everything else is too far away to get much of a view of. I definitely want to bring my kids back, though. Not to the back path here. I'll actually pay and take the kids in. Well, wouldn't that be cruel? You bring the kids in back here and say, Okay, see what you can see of the animals. This is all you get. I wouldn't do that. Lots of children. Other adults, maybe, but... And more planes. You know, I really didn't think today's wandering was going to turn into much, but this could be my best wandering video yet, and probably my longest. Definitely my most tiring. And there's a giraffe from the front end. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. Can I call you Jeffrey? No, I'm sorry, that's copyright infringement on Toys R Us? Okay, I'm sorry. You know, my wife says I'm crazy, and I think she's right. 
interesting, there's actually a walking bridge over the road leads from one side of the zoo to the other side of the zoo. And if you were really, really determined to get in without paying, I think I see a way, but I'm not gonna show you how. And some other religious building church of some kind. That's the garden somewhere over there. I don't have time to go there today, but I will go there eventually. I think it's supposed to be another exit to the Minami Koan I came out of. I think I'm gonna head back around, go past that subway station I found before and just keep going for a little bit longer and then take the subway back. My legs are getting tired. And it just struck me, my phone has a pedometer on it that I have never turned on and I really should have because it would be interesting to know how far I have walked today or at least how many steps I've walked today because I'm sure it's a lot or at least it feels like a lot. And another church which I'm actually quite surprised about because there's not that many Christians in Japan percentage-wise. I guess I'm just finding the churches today. Now here's something I haven't seen much in Japan but saw a lot of in South Korea when I lived there. The bottom levels are stores and above them are apartment buildings. I think this is a very useful and efficient use of space but I haven't seen that very much in Japan at all. Pretty much every apartment building, big apartment building I saw in Korea, the first floor was shops. If not the first floor, the basement floor. It's very convenient if there's a supermarket under your apartment. It's taking me a lot longer than I thought it would to get back to that subway station I saw. I think I'm just going to head back to Tenjin now. I'm getting tired. Red Bull, you're inside me now. Where oh, you belong. Sure goes fast though. Going down. This will be my very first time on the newer leg of the Fukuoka subway system. This is the third section to the system, I think. And down more. The station is Sakurazaka. So if you want to come up to Minami Koen, come to Sakurazaka. Easy. This is new. This station is much nicer than the older branches of the subway system. From here to Tenjin is only 200 yen. It looks like they've got a system in now that if you want to just go to the next subway system, it's only 100 yen. Personally, I think if you're only going one stop, why would you even take the subway? Just walk. Save 100 yen. Here comes my train. Even the subway trains themselves look nicer. And the subway empties out onto the Chikadori, at least a newer branch of the Chikadori, which would mean Underground Road, which is an underground shopping area. That'll lead me right back up to Tenjin, and well, I guess that's pretty much the end of my wanderings for today. I don't know if I've ever taken video down here in the underground shopping area. It's underground, there's stores, what's there to see? Yeah, I'll show you a little bit. Chikadori runs in two lines up from Watamanabe Avenue all the way up to Tenjin Station. The whole way down, it's like this, this arched black roof. Stores on this side, stores on this side, same thing on the other side. But different stores, of course. There's a Starbucks, there's several bakeries, there's bookstores, there's lots of fashion stores, accessories, clothing, drugstore, just about everything. This is a really nice place to wander around in the summertime because it's nice and cool down here. And in the wintertime, I guess it's warmer too. Also, when it's raining, you can get between many of the buildings around Tenjin through this underground shopping area. So I guess it's worth knowing your way around down here because, well, you can keep your feet dry and your head and everything else. My heart is pounding, but I'm not sure if that's from all the walking or from the Red Bull. But it probably doesn't help that I'm drinking Cherry Dr. Pepper right after the Red Bull. I've never had Cherry Dr. Pepper before. It's delicious. And just when I figure I'm done finding anything interesting for the day, I see this. There's some golden oldies world rugby festival going on, it seems. There's stretched way out up there. And there's a bunch more up the road over there. You got some Vikings. I don't watch rugby much, but it looks like they're gonna have fun. I saw lots of signs up for that uh, Old Timers World Rugby Festival, but I didn't expect to see so many people. That's the most foreigners I've actually ever seen in Japan at one time. I hope they have fun playing. We're heading home, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. I enjoyed walking around, but I am tired now. If you like what you see, please click the thumbs up, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. You might as well, it's free. I'm Mark Visser, aka Sparkus. I hope to see you back here for another I Live in Japan very soon.